Hello again, I'm Donatan Arditsi. In today's Taekwondo lesson, I'm going to show you how to perform a side piercing kick. The side piercing kick is one of the most effective kicks for attacking an opponent to your flank. But of course it can be used against an opponent in front of you if you can turn your body side facing to them. It can be done as a high, middle or low kick. For the high kick, it's done at eye level. For the middle kick, shoulder level, and the low kick at umbilicus level. But this is assuming that your body's kept fairly upright, because if you lean over too much, then these levels will be almost at the same height. When doing side piercing kick in patterns, it's important to be technically correct. So you need to get the height levels done properly. This means getting the correct angle of your leg and your body holding it up to the right level. So it requires strength in your obliques to do so. So here's a good exercise that you can practice to develop that strength. Find something to lean against, it could be a wall, table, chair, or any object, and practice raising the leg and your body at the same time, really squeezing the obliques like that. So you create the correct V shape. So practice that on both sides and that will develop the strength. Another thing is to form your foot properly. The side piercing kick uses the foot sword, which is formed like this. You turn your ankle back and turn inwards as well to expose the edge of the foot. You also turn your toes back. And this is the region you'll be attacking with. The side piercing kick will move in a straight line, but it has a rotational motion. And to practice this kicking action, here's another exercise. Again, find something to lean against, like a wall or something, and place your balancing foot so that the foot points to the side, and your foot sword is going to be near your inner knee. As you extend the leg, pivot the balancing foot outwards by 75 degrees, so it'll point out there by the time you finish. And then as you extend the leg, get that rotation from the hip, like that. So you can do it sideways as well, having the foot facing the wall and you lean away as you extend the leg, like that. Okay. So practice this many times on both sides and when you're used to it, then you're ready to practice the kick without the support of the wall. At this stage, it's worth learning how to do a bending ready stance type A, which is a preparatory posture for side piercing kick used in many patterns. The stance looks like this, with the balancing foot pointing to the side, the knee of the kicking leg pointing to the side front, and the foot also pointing to the side with the foot sword near your knee joint. Your body will be half facing and your arms are forming a forearm guarding block. Now how to get into this position from an L stance? You pivot the front foot and go into a neutral position and your kicking leg will come forward about one shoulder width in front with a foot off the ground. Your knees are slightly bent, your joints are bent, and then you wind up for the guarding block by raising the body, extending the arms, but don't lock the joints. Neither do you straighten the kicking leg like that. I often see this action. If the foot moves forward, that's no problem, but don't purposely extend it and straighten the leg. So once you've wound up, you drop sharply, forming the guarding block and bringing the foot sword to your inner knee joint. And then you're ready to do the side kick. So it will look like this. So remember the things I told you when we were practicing the kicking action against the wall. You need to pivot the balancing foot 75 degrees outwards but make sure you drop the heel firmly on the ground as you make impact on the target. Now, very often you're required to do a punching action when you do side piercing kick in various patterns. And if you notice, the punch and the side piercing kick are very similar in that they go in a straight line with that rotational motion. But there is a practical reason for doing the punch with the side kick. It's if the opponent moves in. If he stays back, no problem, you, you can reach. But if they were to close in, for example, close in, it's like talking to a dummy, isn't it? Had he closed in, then I'd be in this position, so my kick will be ineffective, but my punch will be the backup. Okay? So here's some examples of side piercing kicks using bending ready stance to prepare, and also without the bending ready stance.
Side piercing kit with bending ready starts will be included in pattern one your tool, which I'll be covering in the next Taekwondo lesson. So please join me for that one. So thanks for watching and a big thank you to all those that have subscribed to my channel so far. And also a big thank you if you're just about to subscribe right now. See you next time. Bye.